again, and welcome to our final scenario in the Playing uh, Board Games Challenge Playthrough, Play Along League, uh, Season 3, where uh, we have a very weird limited uh, deck building restriction, which I went over in the first scenario, and honestly, this is the last scenario, so if you're only joining now, so uh, welcome for the ride. Um, and in the Challenge League, we shuffle the Ghoul Priest into each and every encounter deck, so including this one. And we're on the final scenario on Before the Black Throne. So before we do things, we'll finish the setup. Uh, there are three passes that went before us. So we have three uses of the weird abilities on locations. Uh, we're waiting to place down cards. But before that, we'll go over deck upgrades. So uh, for the final scenario, we ended up kicking Tetsuo and taking a black cat. Since the uh, token effects are kind of nasty. Where is the black cat? Here he is. So we can change the uh, squid instead of a minus four to a minus one. That's pretty good. And we kicked out the toe to toe for a burn after reading. So uh, this is the last scenario, so we don't care exiling. And it's going to help us A with the doom and B, Daniela can pick up some clue slack, which can help with moving around. For Min, we had eight experience left after uh, two banks, and we got six last scenario. We dumped it all into the hypothesis. So we took the trial and error for uh, taking down Mortar Holler, which I, if I remember correctly, haven't lot in this scenario and we went for the clue and the two times uh, per so and the changing criteria run okay and that's pretty good so that's us and we'll shuffle and we'll use daniela's deck because she's the lead investigator to fill in the empty spaces okay good and we start here at the Hideous Palace, if I'm not mistaken. That's what it's called. Yeah, Hideous Palace. So, uh, four dim advances. Add the sauces here. Immune to all player cards effect. And investigator actions cannot be defeated by any means. And two dim advances at the... Um, oh, at the Hideous Palace. So we start... Where? The Congre Cosmic Ingress. So we need to reach the Hideous Palace. It's one of these two Cosmos locations. We have the Cosmos Action Spend Excludes. This is a sort of explorer. And we all have to be at the Cosmos at the uh, Hideous Palace with two clues. Okay, so let's draw our opening hands. Okay, that's a pretty decent hand for us and for Min. One, two, three, four, five. This gets replaced. This hand is also pretty gas. Okay, we have a lot of assets we want to play, but uh, we also have the backup to do it. Honestly, I think if we keep this four and we kick the live and learn and here, uh, we have uh, economy, we have a weapon, and we have some healing. Let's just kick these two and see what we get. Okay. Absolutely fine. The chart isn't going to be that important in this game, but let's do it. Let's reveal the cognizant cosmic ingress. Uh, this refills the three clues, so you'll see me taking clues from the token pool because I keep forgetting to refill this. But I'll remember that I can only do three per turn. So let's start with Min. We'll start by playing out a Scroll of Secrets. Once again, immediately trying to get rid of our weakness. Okay, that's one weakness, and we can stack the top of our deck, but we'll pick up the Eureka and stack the Sion chart over here. Second action, we'll play out Jerome Davies for the boost. And we need to remember he has an ability. Last action, we're going to investigate at a 5 to 2. It's so minus 3, that's fine. I need to remember that the squids are minus 4. So being up by 4 is when I wanna, where I want to be this scenario. Daniela, also on a setup turn, will stand together, which probably means she should have gone first. Anyways, and we'll play the these two cards. The Baseball Bat and the Hallowed Mirror. One to here and two to here. This is at the end of the round, right? Yeah, okay. And we do upkeep. At least Serenity is interesting. We knew the second Aeon chart is here. One of four Doom. Shuffle the encounter deck. We added a Ghoul Priest, yeah. And we get a Mindless Dancer, farthest empty space, that's here. And we are the fool this scenario. I was thinking about taking Alter Fates, but I think it's fine. Um, we could actually try cancelling this by discarding a Neon chart. Um, you know what, let's do it. 
let's uh, search with the scroll of secrets. You know what? No, because we don't know what's happening. Still want to get rid of King and Yellow. Okay, this is super gas. So we'll draw to Perception and we'll stack the top two cards of our deck. First action, we will play out the Black Book. Because we need to be up by four, as I said. Second action, we'll investigate at six to two. That's an Elder Sign, so I'll, again, I'll just take a clue from the resource tool. Now, with Mindless Dancer, if he hunts twice, he comes into us and he will attack. So honestly, we want to move and we probably want to move down. So let's spend two clues. And with our last action, we're going to do the Cosmos action. So I'll take them off the mat. One two. So this is above our take two four. Above is also fine because he'll hunt once and then he'll hunt up to here. Let's do above. And I'm pretty sure they shuffle. Um, empty spaces. Shuffled back. Yeah. This is not three meters where it goes to the bottom. So this goes here. And this shuffles into the cosmos. Okay. It's a two shroud. Daniela's going to want to end her turn there. So, um, and there's one clue off of here we need to remember. So first action, let's go meet up with Min. Second action, do we want to play the Earthly Serenity so we can kick out the Halimir if we don't want it? We didn't take enough four. Let's draw a card for a second action. That's a leg injury. And last action, we'll Soothing Melody, heal this and this and draw a card. So any phase, he moves to here. And now I get to choose if I want to move him here or if I want to move him here. I think we're going to move him here. We're going to do upkeep. Okay, two of four doom. Counter card is Asian Evils. That's three of four doom. And we get the end is nine. We're testing brain X, where X is a uh, plus. One plus the agenda. The agenda is one. So we're at five to two. Um, this is regardless if we fail or succeed, eh? So we'll pitch this and add an icon to be up by uh, five. Reveal another token. If we fail, we search for a cultist. We did not fail because that's a minus two. We'll search the top three cards of our deck. Hypotheses. Excellent get. Really excellent get. My question is, do I cryptic research first? No, because it could kick out the scroll of secrets. So one, two, three. This is still between actions. There's the king in yellow. We can start drawing safely. Everything is safe. We'll draw this plan of action and keep the grizzled on top. So Min's turn is going to be first action, play out the uh, empirical hypothesis. Second action, we'll investigate at 6 to 2. That's up by 4. Let's be up by 5, and that will draw us a card. Great. We get a clue. Last action, we'll spend that clue and try moving. Hopefully we can go there. Or take two horror and connect to the topmost reveal location in the direction of your choice. That's absolutely fine. We'll take two horror on Mr. Davies. This will shuffle here. And we end up going here. No, nope, not Daniela, but Min. That's Min's turn. Okay, and we need to remember this from next round. We got it, which is amazing. And now we can start healing again if we want, but this only heals investigators. So let's start by first action. Like, do I want to go and beat up this mindless dancer? Could attack him twice with vicious blow. But I think we want to stick together. So let's do two actions to see which location this is. This is the hideous plus. That's good. Last action, we will... Am I looking to exile this? I don't think so. We'll play out the Earthly Serenity. Okay, enemy phase. This guy wants to go to us, so it can go any direction. We'll, go, we'll do this, and we'll do up. Absolutely fantastic. Doom advances, so uh, each cultist enemy draws uh, blah, 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 and Lady Investigator draws a demonic piping, so let's look for one. Two, two. Uh, da, da, da. check if it's, if Gilman's journal is listed, you're able to find your way. We're able to find our way. So only toot toot. An acolyte at an empty location. That has to be here, I guess. That's fine. 
that was the search from this. So we're in agenda two, six doom advances. Let's draw our encounter card. So we either place a doom on Azazos or he smacks us with his lovely coin. Well, we'll take the smack. Not fun, but we'll take it. We can heal some of the serenity. Toot toot. Oh, that's bad. Drawing the piping outside of the, of the uh, ad agenda advancing makes life real brutal. Okay, test ultimate power. We're testing. This is a power, so we don't get any extra if we work to commit this. So this can just attach to Ethathos, and he could smack us if we draw minus four. Ah, oh, he doesn't smack us. He just gets... Can I cancel this with something? Could pitch the other Eon chart to it? Uh, discard cards with enough icons. Like, I could discard the Eon chart. It's not doing much for me. I'm discarding the Eon chart to cancel this. And this would obviously be in the Shroud thing, because we're going into here. So, uh, let's start with Min. First action, one, two. We're playing out this here, Dream Diary. Second action, we're walking in. Which means we trigger the hypothesis, and now we're going to go for the succeed by three. Last action, we're investigating. We'll commit these two. We'll slap an icon onto it, and whatever happens, happens. Oof. Oh, this is Christmas. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We succeeded by enough. We'll return to deduction. We'll draw two off perception. We put another thing on hypotheses. We'll do the... Uh, I guess we'll do the fail. This also stacks up, so I'll just take three clues from here. Um, do we do the fail or do we do the damage or horror? We'll do the... Uh, I don't think any of them will matter now. So we'll do the damage horror. And we're out of actions. I think we advance next turn. Although Daniela still has a full turn. And we want to heal stuff. Because the Mindless Nature is just going to mock one. That's why I'm thinking of giving it another turn. You know what? Let's give it another turn. First action, we're going to use the Soothing Melody to heal two horror off ourselves and draw a card. Second action, we're going to test Earthly Serenity at 4 to 0. That's going to have to be enough. We should have played this Cryptic Research. 4 to 0. Okay, that... That actually screwed us, because we lose two resources, because we succeeded by zero. And our modified test was zero, so this goes on Athosoth. Should put him here to count it, eh? That was really bad. Last action, we'll try again. Do we have a commit? Could commit this burn after reading and add an icon. We'll be up by six. That's minus two, so we succeeded by four. One, two, three, four. We'll just heal ourselves completely. Okay, I should have committed that before. Enemy phase, this guy hunts. There's still two doom in play. We do upkeep. Absolutely fine. Three of six doom. Counter card is Asian evils. Four of six doom. Uh, this is the shroud. Ultimate chaos. Do we care now? Uh, this has to be during our turn to get another icon. We'll go six to four. We'll try. So minus two, we pass. Still the shroud thing. So now we advance. So we'll spend two clues. Okay. Um, we remove Congress Ingress from the game. So what we need to do is, I think we need to take these off. Because this is the new FAQ thing. We remove our locations. Great. And the script stopped working. F2 setup. Nothing. Okay, so we'll do it the right way. The hideous palace goes... Well, we have to do it on our own then. It's a bit of a bummer. Um, where's Act 2 setup? So the hideous palace goes here. We take all the Cosmos locations, which are here, and we shuffle them together with 
Uh, Court of the Great Old Ones. No, that's the Black Throne. This is doing nothing again. Court of the Great Old Ones and two random Cosmos locations. And uh, Hideous Palaces, let's say here. We do, right, top three empty cards. One, two, three, so bottom and to the right. No, act two, it's like this. And then we put seven cards, so three, one, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's a bit of annoying. Um, we also shuffle them into the top five, and we draw encounter cards, because progress is fun. Two, three, four, five. This is gone. And now we get to play our game of encounter cards. Ghoul Priest. Okay. And you get Turn the Night. Five to four. I think we can fail this. Sure, let's fail it. Five to four. Minus four, we failed by three, so it surges. That's not the best. We are the full. And I think we can let this stick, right? I don't think we want to discard these two. No, we could discard these two. Let's not be fools. Because we can draw three if we go first. I guess that's fine. I'll try bullying the, the ghoul priest a bit. So, uh, actually, let's start with min. It's not an action. We'll fast draw three cards. Do it again. Okay, we. I think we're out of targets for the practice makes perfect, right? There's one more perception in our deck and an unrelenting, which we might hit. So uh, this has four clues. We'll investigate with a deduction committed. And let's, let's practice makes perfect. Yep. Since we had two hits, the hits were pretty much uh, guaranteed. Two of 11. So we're at an eight, nine to three. Zero, zero plus one. We should have done the succeed by three. 9 to 3, it's a minus 3, that's 6 to 3, we succeeded by 3, this goes to our hand, this is this card, and we get 3 clues. Now, I'll remember I got 3 clues, 1, 2, 3, because I'm going to try cracking the case here. So there's technically one more clue left there. Second action, we go 6 to 3, we'll go 7, 8, 9 to 3, no, we don't need 9, up by 5, 7 to 3. Plus one, draw two cards. Yep, and we get to return a skill, so Unrelenting comes back. We get the last clue, which lets us crack the case for three money. Whoever that is. Oh, I discarded it. Never mind. Um, I forgot that I discarded it for the ability. Not many cards left, eh? So last action, let's try finding a new location. We're going to spend two clues. And see where we go. One, two. So Dancer's Mist goes to the right, which is absolutely where we want to go. So this comes here. This shuffles here. And we trigger our hypothesis. So we'll get a thing, and then we'll do the... Um, I don't think there are many more things we have to do this turn, so... Uh, we'll just, I should have picked up the Essence of the Dream, eh? But honestly, I have too many cards in hand. Well, whatever, I, I'm i choosing the uh, Succeed by Three. Okay, Mr. Ghoul Priest, in for a buck, in for, in, for, in for a game. Let's punch him at eight, nine to four, ten to four, up by six. Okay, that's four damage. Second action, do it again. Eight to four, nine to four. That's an Elder Sign, so that's three more damage. Last action, we'll punch with the Baseball Bat at seven to four. It's so minus two, that's nine damage. Enemy Fizzy attacks us for two and two. And Daniela shunts him to the victory display. Bye, Ghoul Priest. Then this refills. Then we do upkeep. We have to get rid of, I'm going to say several cards, so let's get 
This healing might be well for us. Let's get rid of Madame Lebranche. Wait, these are book icons. Well, single book icons aren't doing much, and I think I drew most of my deck. Kicking unrelenting sounds so wrong. So let's kick the living line. Four of six doom. Mysterious chanting. So this is going to actually shuffle somebody away, which is really good for us. Uh, we'll put him where we can reach, which is here. We get another turn tonight. This is, again, the shroud thing, because I didn't choose, and that's on me. I can just cancel it and not think about it. So let's... Though, you know what? I want to commit these true understandings. So I'm at a 7 to 4. 8, 9. Yep, yeah, up by 5. Auto fail. Because that's what happens. That's just what happens when you think you're going to do it. You just auto fail. Ultimate chaos. I think this we're going to cancel. Well, I just discarded my canceling things. Right? Yep. Um, so let's draw some cards. We'll be 6, 7 to 4. 0, 0 plus 1. Elder Sign, so this comes back to my hand. So, you know, easy come, easy go. I like about Min that she refills her hand like a monster. So we'll take two actions to walk into here. Wow, okay. First way again. Last action, we're doing 7, 8 to 1, 8 to 3, 0, 0, plus 1. Draw two cards. Reveal another token. Yep, this guy's dead. This goes away, and we'll pick up the bat. Okay, um, so we did the shroud thing. We picked this up. Do we have money for a Pathfinder? We do not. So first action, we walk into here, which triggers the hypothesis, and then we're going to do a succeed by three. Second action, we're going to investigate with these two cards committed. So we're at a six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven to four, up by seven. That's succeed by four. That draws us two cards and gains us three clues. This refills again, eh? So, one, two, three. Um, and we succeeded by enough to exhaust this. And ready it to say, take damage or horror? <laughs> um, right? Yeah, because if I commit this unrelenting now for this investigate, and seal zero, zero, plus one, we're at eight to four, that's up by four. Uh, we will play Burning the Midnight Oil to investigate, so that's 8 to 4. And let's commit this. We'll commit this uh, Grizzle to it. So we'll be up by 5. Oh, we draw two cards, eh? So we take a Horror, which means we trigger the Hypothesis. And now we can say, well, about, well the only thing that's left, which is Fail by 2. We did not. These go away. I get to trigger Eureka. Um, I'll take this. Oh, we got three four clues. So that's not it's not crack the caseable. We'll take this other practice makes perfect. And I think we're done. Yep, we got four clues off of here. So we have. We have the four we need to advance. Daniela played her turn already, so let's do upkeep. Okay, analytical mind. We're at five of six doom. Encounter card is a world in darkness, so there is a doom on Azathoth. Right, there's one. So for each doom, we need to either lose. Yep, our resources are doing jack for us. We get, same thing. Uh, I should have chosen, which would probably be, again, the shroud thing. We will take a damage, right? Yeah. Do we need four money? Yeah, we need the money. Take a damage. Okay, so let's start in advance. One, two, three, four. I need to remember to do the hypothesis because this is super important. So this is the shroud thing, although I wouldn't like it to be the shroud thing. But in case I don't say. So this goes away. Other locations are shuffled back into the cosmos. So it's these three. And these go back into Daniela's deck. Since this is between actions, I think we technically get to do it with Daniela. Right? 
Um, honestly, let's say Min would have gone first. So we'll do it for Min's deck. There are weaknesses there to hit. That's pretty fine. So let's see how it goes. So we're putting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cards, right? That's how it goes. Three, two, three. Eight cards. Then we take the Black Throne alongside with three Cosmos locations. One, two, three. Shuffle them around. I think it's one here, one here, one here, right? One, no, it's these two. Okay. And we draw and counter cards again, right? Because why not? Mindless Dancer, farthest empty location, and you get another Mindless Dancer. We'll separate them a bit. Okay, and we said Min's going first, so we have clues. We'll spend two to look. Right? Or do we want them to hunt first and then we move out? We could do a setup turn, but then I'm not triggering my hypothesis, which is fine, I guess. Or I get a location move to it, and then I get another location, and then I move here. No, that's wrong. We'll do a setup turn. One, two, three. We'll play out. I do want to play Pathfinder, but I think Analytical Mind is the right call. Second action, we'll just go for more clues, I guess. This is a four shroud. Um, what can I do with it? I can just discover clues for a three. Um, could investigate with a PMP. I don't know. We should be able to hit deductions quite accurately. Let's try investigating with the PMP. Yep, there's the deduction. So we're at eight to four. We'll slap on a, a ninth. Yep, this goes to our hands and we get three clues. Again, since we're not cracking here and it has six clues, we're going to let it go. Oh, we should have used analytical mind. Otherwise, why did we play it? Um, last last action we'll investigate with this would be eight eight to four <sighs> just because we get to repick this up no we can cancel with it we'll gain a resource we're waiting for them to move so danielle is just taking a setup turn we heal two from ourselves we play the baseball bat again and we gain a resource Okay, so enemy phase, they hunt twice, and we'll do upkeep. Also, there's a big bad guy coming up. Um, so, we advance. Each cultist, uh, we search for demonic piping. It's not peril, is it? When do we do cancel its revelation effect? We are going to cancel the revelation effect. Because we do not want the Piper coming. But it does surge into Mysterious Chanting, which means we need to go fetch a Cultist. So, let's fetch a Cultist. We will gamble on this location. So, wait, so this is Daniela's encounter card. So the end is nigh. We're testing at a 4 2. Agenda is 3, so 4 all. Try drawing some cards off of it. Wait, there's mop moons in my deck, but they could be so far away. Yep. Five to four up by one. That's a minus two. I fail. What happens if I fail? Move each. Uh, if you fail, move Doom on each cultist enemy to, in play to Athos or place one Doom on Athos. So that makes this guy not a problem, or we lucky out. Let's lucky out. You get another mindless dancer. That's starting to be a problem. But I think we can get away with it. Three shroud thing. Uh, pick up Essential Dream. First action, we're going to spend two clues. Try finding a good location. One and two. Great. Answers missed is absolutely fine. Uh huh. But this is the same one we had before, so we'll just copy it. It should have two clues, so. That didn't really do anything. 
this shuffles and we move here. Okay. So we're going to try moving here, right? And end our turn here. But then we could get, well, we drew all three mindless dancers. Second action. Well, we, yeah, we got that. So we'll do the succeed by three again. Um, one, two. Drawing again from the cosmos. I reshuffled, eh? One and two. Connect below. That's absolutely fine. That's where we wanted to go. This goes back into min stack. Last action. We're walking down. Are you the Black Throne? Wow! Okay, this is sort of unfair. <laughs> First way every time. I feel like I'm cheating. Well, three actions to move. One, two, three. New phase, this guy punches us for damage, which is fine. Should have done the take a damage or horror. These guys hunt, so it hunts one. And we can let it stop here. This guy hunts one, stores us, and this guy hunts one, stores us, and we do upkeep. We need to discard. Nope, we don't need to discard anymore. So three of eight doom, and counter card is Fate of All Fools. That's fine. You get another acolyte. This guy can go here. So we start with uh, Daniela. We punch acolyte at seven to three. It's up by four. Let's be up by five. Great, we'll turn this lucky. This guy's dead. Second action, we punch Stubborn Detective at 7 to 3. Let's go 9 to 3. Good, this guy's dead as well. Last action. Oh, I should have returned the burn after reading. This gets X is half the Doom rounded up. So it has 2 Shroud. I'm going to investigate at 1 to 2. Minus 1, I play Lucky, draw a card, and get this clue. Okay, min, investigate time. We're at an 8 to 2. Ten to 2. It's minus 2. We get all three clues. And we are done. No clues in Black Throne. We advance. Okay, so let's see. Did we accept our fate? No. Well, we rejected our fate. We have a scrap of Torn Shadow. I think we do. And Wisp. If at least two of true Wisp of Spectral Mist. I think we have all three, actually. Yep. The top one, the flute, I'm sure we have. The ritual components, we don't have. And we don't have uh, the... Uh, we haven't accepted our fate. So we go to R3. Okay. Bit of anticlimactic, I thought. <laughs> the scenario went a bit, a bit too easy. As a thumbers for now, we get five bonus experience, two of what we got, and two physical trauma, and we win the campaign. So our, our victory is 2 plus 5, right? This doesn't have victory. This is just, wow, I, I didn't think, this, this was just lucky. It could have been any one of these four. The, the fact that we managed to cancel the Piper coming, that's also great, right? Because this is at our location. So Jerome really uh, paid up in droves. Um, let's try concluding this campaign. So honestly, let's see what were the hidden cards. No weaknesses, eh? Yep. That means there was still a king in yellow in our deck lurking somewhere. And here there was the key beast was waiting for us. Two Peters, key. Um, so, uh, concluding remarks. This scenario went very easy, and it does go easy. If it, th This is how swingy the scenario can be, because you have a choice between two, then a choice between three, and a choice between four. And honestly, we got it first way each time. Um, so... I think that made life super easy for us, so I'm sorry if your gameplays go otherwise. Uh, Jerome Davis, MVP. He let us cancel about three or four encounter cards, especially the, as I said, the piping. Uh, which let us not face with the Piper of Adathos in this scenario, but we probably could have managed him. It would just the mindless dances were lurking all around, so we couldn't have really uh, done much. Min! Uh, I'm I'm genuinely uh, reevaluating Min. I think she's an excellent investigator. Her card pull is superb. Uh, I didn't use the hypothesis this game, actually. I could have gotten two free clues, which
which would have made life super easy here on the Black Throne. That's exactly why I wanted to go for the uh, fact that we can spend three evidence for a clue for Black Throne in case Doom gets out of hand, so we just get some free clues. That's why I didn't use any of them. I was saving it for the last one. We didn't spend any of our uh, uh, space elevator things, which could have used this. Um, um, baseball bat. Yeah, very good. Um, I, so, to conclude, I, I really enjoyed this challenge mode. It made deck building very, very interesting. I had to make some weird choices building the decks, like sort of nifty one-ofs and some gives-ups. Cryptic research, which I really like, which I haven't played in a while. Um, with Daniela taking stuff like Dig Deep Level 4. I don't think I'd ever take that on Daniela, but it was just a cute upgrade. Key of Yeast, which I played last scenario, and it, and it really went well. All in all, uh, I think we killed a ghoul priest in almost each scenario. Um, maybe even each scenario. Uh, no, I think he didn't show up in uh, in the fourth one in the in the goose in the ghost in the ghost ones. Anyways, uh, thanks for joining. Uh, I hope you enjoyed these playthroughs. If there's anything else you'd want to see, maybe suggestions for restarting. If I do this again, I probably won't do challenge mode because the ghoul priest is just. He's just scary. He he has a lot of VP which we don't need, but he's super scary. And until then, signing off. Butthead, thank you for joining.